You probably heard about benchmarking software such as Cinebench R15, 3D Mark, and of course VLA Benchmark, which is what we will look at in this video. But what is the actual benefit of it? If you search for VLA Benchmark on YouTube, all what you will get is some dude running the benchmark and getting some random number in the end, and that's it. So in this video, I will show you how to install and run VLA Benchmark, and the most important thing, how to choose your next CPU or GPU according to the result from VLA Benchmark. So to find out, stick to the end of this video. Hey, what's up guys? Hope you are all doing well. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, I do videos about architecture design and visualization. So if you are interested, consider subscribing and turn on the bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And now without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, let's start by downloading VLA Benchmark. Go to Kyle's Group website. From products, select VLA Benchmark and go to download VLA benchmark of course you have to sign in to the website so if you don't have account create one it's very easy and after signing in you will have access to the download link so just download the VLA benchmark it's about 300 megabytes and after downloading it you will get VLA benchmark no install required just run the benchmark directly I agree and from here you can uh, benchmark your system from VLA you can benchmark your CPU only and from VLA GPU you can benchmark your uh, graphic cards or you can add your CPU also in hybrid mode okay so now I will just make uh, the benchmark for my CPU so I will select VLA only and hit start and now I will just let uh, the benchmarking run for one minute until it ends Okay, so the benchmarking end, uh, usually I get something close to 22,000, but because I'm recording now, I get only 20,000. So I'll sub submit my score. Of course, you have to sign in. Okay, so this is my score. Now let's say I'm planning to change my CPU, or I'm just curious to see uh, which CPU is faster than my CPU. So I will hit view all benchmark results and you will get all these random numbers let's search for my CPU model which is 2950X okay here it is and this is my score okay which is something in the in the middle of course I did the benchmark before with overclocking and scored the third place <laughs> and I wrote a note about uh, the setting that I used and which cooler I'm using and of course I said not recommended because I don't recommend you to overclock your system for something crazy like this okay so now let's say I want to change my CPU or I want to buy a new PC or whatever uh, and I'm confused with, between three choices like this is the AMD Threadripper 2950X and this is only an example okay and the newer version which is also 60 cores and between Intel 9960X which is also 60 core of course the price is different for the newer version of uh, AMD Ryzen 9 it is around 700 US dollars but for Intel it's around 1700 so it's a uh, 1000 dollar more expensive okay so let's see uh, how the Ryzen the new Ryzen did in VLA benchmark I will copy the CPU model select it copy let's go to VLA benchmark let's search for the CPU result paste okay here it is and select something in the middle uh, don't go uh, always uh, for the first because they are using our clocking and uh, good system for cooling choose something from from the middle okay let's say six or seven okay let's say seven this is the average score for VLA benchmark which is 25,000 so compare it with my uh, last score with my CPU score which is uh, around 20,000 okay so you can see like the newer version is, is about 20% uh, faster than my CPU or than the older version but now let's compare the uh, Intel which is much expensive okay so let's copy the CPU model let's see it in the benchmarking result paste here it is as I said choose something from the middle so the benchmarking score is around 
27500 points which is of course higher than the AMD Ryzen 3950X but it's not worth paying like thousand dollar more to get this CPU because I'm not getting like double the performance on something crazy like this it's only like it's only 2000 points more so I hope you get my point uh, if you are ever wondering about uh, how much the CPU is fast in, in VLA always copy the CPU model go to the VLA benchmark results paste it search for the results take the average point or average score and go to the other CPU copy the model compare it with the other CPU and see the final result and of course see uh, which one is the best price to performance and choose that one so in my case if I want to choose between the three of them I will choose the Ryzen 3950X because it's the best price to performance out of the three okay and guys this is only an example of course you can choose any uh, processor you want suitable for your budget and do the same steps like seeing the benchmarking result and compare which is better which is worse and choose always the best price to performance CPU okay to summarize I will show you an example if I want to buy a new CPU for VLA I will go to a website called PC Part Picker and choose System Builder from System Builder select CPU and now let's see how to choose between all of them in general the more call count means faster CPU and less rendering time so let's say I want to choose the this CPU with 16 cores but I also want to, to compare it with other CPUs so I will go to filters and put the core count to 16 and now I have these options let's select three of them so let's say I want to select two CPUs from AMD and one CPU from Intel now what I will do I will copy the CPU model and go to VLA benchmark and see the and see the result okay so as we said we will select something in the middle and I will do that for each CPU check the VLA benchmark result for it okay and in the end I will make a chart like this with the CPU model and VLA benchmark result with the price and I will compare all of them so here in this example I have the AMD Ryzen 9 3950X is the better uh, price to performance here giving me a higher score number in VLA benchmark while maintaining uh, a competitive in price compared to Intel offer which is way more expensive than the Ryzen so out of them I will choose the Ryzen 9 3950X let's see another example here I have four CPUs and I want to choose one of them if, so if I am on a budget I will choose the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X because it's the best price to performance in its price if I have more budget I will choose the Ryzen 9 3900X because it's giving me the best value here so I will choose Ryzen 9 3900X if I have 500 bucks or I will choose the 3800X if I'm on a budget I hope you get the idea so this is only an example of course choose any CPU model that you want and apply the same rule here check the benchmark with compare it with the price and compare it with other CPUs and always choose the best price to performance and to help you choose the right hardware for you you can check the Amazon list that I have made for you so you can choose any laptop or desktop part that suit your budget and I will keep upgrading the list from time to time feel free to ask anything in the comment about choosing the right hardware for you I read all the comments and reply to them and by that we have reached to the end of this video I hope you have enjoyed it if you do smash the like button share it with your friends that will help the channel a lot to grow subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos that's it for this video see you in the next one take care bye bye